Hey competition superstars and welcome to Competition TV. Today I'm going to answer the question, how do you do a great leg yield to score well in your dressage test? Okay, so to do a good leg yield, the first thing is you need to have a good active trot and you've got to make sure that the trot doesn't change in the leg yield. So if I trot and um, uh, come around that short side at A, and then, no, we're not going out of the arena, Gretchy. Um, yeah, I'm trotting and I've got the great powerful trot and then I go from K to X to do my leg yield and the trot dies because I'm going sideways, change of rhythm, the judges are going to crucify me. So it's the same as everything when it comes to dressage. Rhythm, make sure you have a good active rhythm and it doesn't change when you do the exercise. B, make sure that the horse um, keeps the same contact. The horse can't be beautifully on the bit and beautifully round and working and then again as it goes K to X the, the horse lifts its head or resists in the bridle and says I don't want to do this. Now a leg yield has no bend or flexion either way so it doesn't um, if it bent to the way it was going, it would be a half pass. If it bent the opposite way it was going, which is how sometimes you can teach a horse to leg yield, um, that's not the definition of a leg yield. A leg yield has no bend or flexion. The nose stays in the middle of the chest and there's no bend or flexion. Then the front legs and the hind legs need to cross um, with no quarters leading but no quarters trailing, which is the hardest part of the whole thing. When you come around to K, you need to ask the horse to step over, but you need to ask the horse to step over in a way that means that not the shoulders or the hind legs will lead. So it's a test on the horse, but I feel it's a bigger test on the rider because your job is to keep everything the same. The contact the same, the rhythm the same, everything the same and the steps the same, good girl, um, the steps the same and nothing to change. So it sounds easy to do it, you obviously need to practice it a lot and like I said to make sure, so if your horse slows down in the rhythm, make sure you ride, I always think of riding extended trot in all my lateral works because I know the horse is inclined, good girl, to, um, so I'm just focusing on nose and little chest, keep the contact, whoops, lost it, lost it, lost it, and off we go. Do one to the other side. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I always ride at standard trot on my lateral movements because I know most horses, mine included, like to lose impulsion and slow down. And because I'm too busy focusing on the actual lateral movement, I might miss it as well. So if I just start off in extended trot and keep that in mind that I ride, it's standard, it's standard, it's standard, it's standard, balance, over we go. You can see this side isn't as good. Forward, 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 forward. So that wasn't as good as the other side, good girl. Um, but yeah, if you at home, keep practicing, keep it forward, keep the contact, keep the nose in the middle of the chest, and it really is a test of you as the rider and how well you've trained your horse. If you go, I'm at home and I try to do what Tash did and at K just put my leg on us the horse to leg yield and you're kicking and the horse is just not leg yielding or it's leading with its shoulders or it's trailing its hind legs or it's doing anything besides leg yield, you haven't taught your horse to move off your leg. Remember, that's the step. So if you have a problem with this movement, you don't have a problem with this movement. You have a problem with one of your basics, which is then getting highlighted. Your problem is getting highlighted in the movement, but don't think you've got a problem with the movement. Go back to the basic that is a problem. So every time you do a leg yield, if the horse lifts its head, you've got a problem with contact. You've got to get your horse more through, more into the contact, and then that will go away in the leg yield. If you've got a problem with rhythm, like the horse sucks back um, and doesn't go forward, he's learnt that he can do that. He has to learn to keep coming. If he's not doing the leg yield correctly because he's either trailing his quarters, so the two problems you see is either shoulders leading and quarters trailing, so this is not a leg yield. That is just a nothing. I don't know what that is, but it's not a leg yield. Okay, so don't do that. That's not a leg yield. And really eager horses, it's not as big of a problem, but that's their problem, that they will lead with their quarters. Um, or your leg yield might start off leading with your quarters and then you ride too much and then it starts leading with the shoulders. And that's not a leg yield. So um, if you've got any of those two problems, you've got a problem with either um, 
you don't know that that's happening and you need a coach to tell you. But if I feel her lead with the shoulders, I'm half halting on whichever rein she's leading with. If um, her quarters are trailing, I'm, you know, I, I don't really use more legs for the quarters trailing. I slow down the shoulders so the hind legs can catch up to the shoulders. So I trust that helps, trust that gives you some hints and go out and score awesome in your leg yields. If you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you want to leave a comment, I read all my comments, so let us know how this helps. I'm super, super, super excited to also let you know that we have a competition training. If you'd like to know how to get better in competition, how to overcome competition nerves, how to master a warm up, how to um, remember your test and learn and remember your test so you don't need a caller and you don't forget it. I've got that all in my free competition training available for you. So click on the link and grab that training and I will see you guys very soon.